What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. We finally have the, even though we already knew when it would be, because at this point, if you play the game and you pay attention to dates when events are going away and when they're coming, you can pretty much figure out when the next thing is going to be coming. But we have an official post telling us when the Spirit Gear event for Alicia, Rose, and Saray will be starting our first Spirit Gear event that has all characters from one game, which does show a little bit of bias, but at the same time, I think it does make sense for these characters to come together and not separate, because the way, well, besides Alicia, the way that Saray and Rose work, um, it really wouldn't make sense, like, let's say they did Saray, Rose, and, like, I don't know, Yuri, um, I mean, I guess it would make about as much sense as Alicia, but at least this way, it's, like, the whole Armatus thing staying together, and then, Alicia and Rose are both kind of sub-protagonists. Uh, you know, they're the counterpart to Saray, but Alicia only stays in your party for a certain amount of time in Zestiria, but I guess they still wanted to make sure that they used her since she is pretty story-relevant, even if she's not playable all the time. Um, it's not like most games, you know, like Vesperia, for example, you know, it's very clear cut who the main two are. It's Yuri and Estelle. Uh, Symphonia, very simple for who will get Spirit Gears. It'll be Lloyd and Colette, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, enough about that. So the event will be starting on the 13th on Friday. So basically uh, one o'clock in the morning on Friday because Daylight Savings has hit. So all our logins, events, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, have been moved forward in hours. So whenever you were used to uh, logging into the game, it's now going to be an hour ahead. So, like for example, if you live in Eastern Time, like me, uh, we get our login bonuses now at 3 p.m. Um, the events go live at one o'clock in the morning, and then the stuff like uh, dailies and stuff reset at 10 o'clock in the morning. I believe is what it is. Uh, very funny here that they, uh, we're actually going to read this in a second, but I like that there is actually a hashtag that has a poll wiggle uh, in it, obviously for the three-year anniversary, so that's actually pretty cool that they have their own little, like, emote attached to it. But um, this first post here has Rose, and we finally kind of got our answer as to what they're going to do here, and I'm, I don't know if I'm disappointed um, per se, as someone who's played Zestiria, I was, it, they really couldn't do what they do in Zestiria, where the whole moveset changes in Armatus, because that would show extreme favoritism to all the other games, so, as you can see here, Rose will have her daggers when she's in Armatus form, but it looks like when you actually do her, her mirage art, which she does have a mirage gauge in the initial, uh, trailer, we didn't see a mirage gauge for Saray, so we thought it might work differently, but it looks like it's just going to work exactly the same as it does for all the other ones. Um, she is going to actually use her little, like, wind blades that just kind of sit on her back. But it looks like, initially, just in Spirit Gear, those wind blades are just not there. Um, I'm sure there's some story reason to it. If you pay attention to the story, there was something where Aster basically explained how, you know, the research of Spirit Gear might be able to allow them to, like for longer periods of time, basically stay in the Armatus. So there's obviously going to be some changes that actually make sense story-wise. Um, and then we get some shots here of what her Spirit Gear uh, Mirage Art is going to look like. Very, very cool. Um, very interestingly enough, I assume this is for her 5-star. She has a Fire Element 5-star. Um, that's kind of weird. Um, and, and as you can see here, it says CC plus 17. That's obviously for a five star. So very interesting that Rose is going to be getting a fire five star when she's in her wind armatus. Um, but yeah, that's actually, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, the only thing that's still weird to me is seeing her with daggers, uh, while in that form. We did get our set, our first post the day before for Alicia. The only one we have, haven't seen is Saray, which he will be posted tonight. Um... But I really like Alicia's design. Um, it looks like she gets some kind of like buckler on her arm, which, you know, as a spear user, it, it'd be nice to have some way to kind of block attacks. Um, she gets a little costume change. Her hair turns blonde. I guess they want to match her with the actual being able to, uh, you know, armatize without actually giving her the armatus form. Um, so that way she has the blonde hair that both Saray and Rose have. 
uh, when they are in Armatus, although hers looks a lot more blonde. So as you can see, she's kind of running there in the field for her spirit art, and it looks like she's going to, like, throw her spear. You get a good kind of glimpse at the uh, arm shield that she has there that looks very aesthetically pleasing. And then this is obviously going to be her new five-star, which looks like a very, like, rapid spear thrust. Um, so very, very cool, you know, characters getting their third five-stars. Um... But other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, we'll see Saray's uh, post tonight. Um, but other than that, this is all very exciting. By the way, the if you haven't been keeping up, the live stream will be held the same day as the Spirit Gear event, but it's like six hours later. So at 1400 is, which is uh, one o'clock in the morning, will be the event when the event drops and the banners. And then at, at 20... Uh, so six hours later will be, so seven o'clock in the morning, essentially for me, will be the actual live stream, which we will be live watching together on the channel. I'll be live streaming that. Um, I'm probably going to go to sleep before the Spear Gear event starts and then just wake up like 30 minutes before this. Um, so that way I'm not tempted to summon yet because it, I want to see what's going to be coming for the story chapter and for the, um... Second event this month before I decide to go all in. If the second event this month is, like, nothing I need, like, if we get, like, a Destiny 1 event or if we get, like, a uh, Legendia event, then I probably will go, like, three or four multis into this because I want to get more copies of Saray's five stars as well as get whatever his new one's going to be, as well as getting a lot of stuff for Alicia and possibly the Spirit Gear as well, so I don't have to do as much farming. But that's going to be it, guys. Um... Very exciting stuff. We got a Spirit Gear event coming up. Make sure you finish farming the raid. Any last minute farming you need to do. I've already broken a million points, so there's really nothing else I really need for that. Um, you know, there are a couple tickets I can get, but it's so much grinding that it really doesn't matter. I've mainly just been focusing on doing the story uh, because I still have quite a bit of story to farm diamonds out of, and I want to do it while the Zero AP campaign is still around. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you're going to be summoning uh, or grinding the event, let me know who your top priority is out of all these Spirit Gears. If I have to say for me, just gameplay-wise, Saray's top priority because he's the only of the three I have double mirror darts for. I put Alicia in second and Rose at third. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.